What's Big Ed been doing since 90 Day Fiance? How you doing, sweetheart? Let me tell you, it's nothing good. First, he tries to catfish a poor Philippines girl. If you shave your legs, I'll shave my beard. Black hair, it's gross. I'm a bad person, okay? Yeah. Then he lies to his mom about it. Rose is out. <laughs> Rose is out. Yeah, she's... Now he's a mukbanger. A cameo king. I'm one crazy guy. And king is a strong word. Stop. Oh my god, Laura. And he's got his own merch store. Stick around to the end for that. But why don't you see for yourself? Without further ado, this is Big Ed. I thought if I told you I was the same height, maybe I would have a chance. Big Ed is like one of my favorite people in the world and in the worst way possible too. No shade, no nothing. I just want to make fun of the guy is all. Okay, first off, in, in the 90 Day Fiance show, when you go back and watch it, you can actually see that he has his own branding before he even starts like becoming a public figure because he knew that's what he wanted to do. He probably knew it wouldn't work out with Rose. You're my best view. Mm. And that's why he was prepared to like use the show to make him a creator. And, and another thing that really gets me, Big Ed in the show, they say that he's like 4'11 or something like that. He's actually a short guy. And he talks about like, oh, I've, I've overcome my shortness because I call myself Big Ed. If you really came overcame your shortness and you really were like totally secure with it, you wouldn't feel the need to be like, uh -huh, I'm Big Ed, guys, uh, get it? You would just be Ed. It's funny because I'm not tall. Okay, boomer. He has a tattoo of his logo. Did I mention that? He has a tattoo on his leg of his face. That tells you everything you need to know about Ed. That is everything there. He makes these YouTube videos. He's got a great editor, whoever it is. God bless them, because otherwise these would be pretty much unwatchable. And some of these videos, uh, I mean, most of them, they're not great. I mean, I'm not a Big Ed fanboy. I don't know if anybody really is. Please just watch his intro. This is the intro on all of his new videos. Get ready. This is Big Ed. Hurry the hell up. Ooh, what were those dance moves there, Ed? Just rolling around on the floor. That's, yeah, that's brave, dude. That takes some courage, I'll admit that. This is his latest one. He uploaded this maybe like a couple days ago. The intro's like him, right? And then it's just a comic book. It's just art, and it's not even an actual video. And then the artist is literally the last credit in the entire thing. At the very bottom, past his merch, past the cameo, that's where he credits the artist. I feel like you should put that at the top because, you know, they're giving you content, Ed. She let you make a video. You were just the inspiration behind that, and I, I want to use that very lightly here. He disables his like and dislike ratio on a lot of videos. And, you know, that's a classic, like, oh, you're getting a lot of hate. You want to disable the dislikes and all that stuff. And for, for Ed, I can totally see that. He doesn't, like, mute the comments. That's what gets me. The like and dislike is the simplest way for people to say that they didn't like the video. But with the comments, they can say anything. If you don't want any hate, why would you leave the comments, dude? Instant dislike crew checking in. You remind me of one of those bugs that curl up and just waddle everywhere. Poquito. Poquito. Un pequeño. What I really wanted to talk about was Big Ed's online store. He's only been in the public eye for a short time and he's already like completely monetized everything about it. In a bunch of his videos, like here he made a reaction video to PewDiePie, he has a ton of merch just on the desk ambiently. And then there's like little editing arrows that like point to it. He's really pushing that merch to the max, man. He's clearly in it for the money, I feel. I think that's also why he plugs his cameo so much too. In his intro, he calls himself a cameo king. The no neck legend and the cameo king. Dude, I don't think anybody on cameo is a king. Nobody. Who would parade themselves as the king of cameo of all things? And his cameos are 60 bucks each. $60 to get him to like, happy birthday here. That's 60 freaking dollars. That's a video game. 60 bucks is a video game, dude. That's a lot. A lot of his cameos seem to be just him dancing to copyrighted music. 
He's wearing a, an alien mask, a chicken suit. I don't feel good, man. I'm getting the shivers, you know, when you just kind of shrivel up at something. Imagine paying 60 bucks for this, by the way. After you form your trumpet embouchure, just blow like this. But here, let's go to his store. He's got a Black Friday special. That's very nice. I might pick something up. I mean, I won't, but you know, he had a mask for Halloween. First off, this mask is pretty disturbing, I would say. Look at this thing. Look at this. It's a, it's a snip snip. It just doesn't feel right. It's doing like an anime smile, I feel. How they close their eyes, you know? Be the big man himself in this new pullover Big Ed Halloween mask. This full face latex mask is designed to transform you into Big Ed. Arrive at your socially distanced party or Zoom watch party sporting this Big Ed mask and a jar of mayonnaise and dare the judges not to give you first prize. It just, I, I'm not digging it, dude. I mean, five bucks is a pretty good deal. This whole video is just an ad for Big Ed's website, by the way. I wish. Actually, no, I don't. I don't want your money, Big Ed. Very nice. Big Ed sports bras. Big Ed tie-dye socks. Another Big Ed mask that's just his logo. Another Big Ed mug. He has multiple Big Ed mugs. Big Ed t-shirts. Big Ed flip-flops. Refrigerator magnet. Gift magnet. Phone sockets. Big Ed wear onesie for a baby. That's insane, dude. My favorite thing that he has on his website, this was the whole impetus for this video. These bobbleheads. It's bobbleheads of him and his mom. And then his bobblehead doesn't shake because he has like, you know, the neck thing. That is genius, by the way, and it is also hilarious. He's got multiple bobbleheads, by the way. It's not just one. And they're expensive, too. Look at this. 227 bucks for all three of them. And then $86 for one. 86 bucks? for a bobblehead? He got that made in China for like $10 at the most, okay? 86 bucks, that is raking it in. And I hope to God no one is buying this. Please don't, don't buy this. Maybe the mask. If you really wanna like scare somebody, you wanna scare your friends, just show up wearing that in daylight and you'll scare them anyways. All right, well, you know, no hard feelings to Big Ed. I mean, you probably already have an opinion on Big Ed, so it's not like I'm gonna change it anyways. I mean, he's good for content, what can I say? Do whatever you want, Ed. People already know you, I guess. Uh, sure. Whatever. I guess. But uh, yeah, that's it for me. Subscribe, join, all that stuff. Uh, see you later.